Uh, good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to take a quick look at an interesting game played at the ongoing 2021 chess mood open, which takes place in Armenia. On the white side is Armenian chess grandmaster Samvel Terzakian and his opponent is Indian chess grandmaster Ramesh Babu Pragnananta. This game is from round 5 and Terzakian opened up with e4. Pragnananta's answer was c5. By the way, let me tell you that up to this point, Terzakian celebrated four victories in a row, thus becoming leader of the tournament. Knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5. Nezhmeddin of Rosolimo attack is on the board. e6, white castled. Knight e7, rook e1. White is securing the f1 square for the light squared bishop. An alternative is c3, in this case white is finding a shelter for his light squared bishop on c2 and at the same time is preparing to establish a classical pawn center. In the game we have rook e1, knight d4, an exchange of knights on d4 followed, c3, a6 and white bishop goes all the way back to its initial square, knight c6, b4. Up to this point knight a3 or d3 had been seen in games of strong players, but Terza can choose this, something fresh, something interesting. Uh, by advancing on the queen side, he's preparing the fianchetto of the dark squared bishop, which later we will see how dangerous can become for black. Queen h5 with his active jump, white is preparing a kingside attack. Meanwhile, black wants to complete the queenside development and bishop e5. Knight f3, bishop b7. An exchange on e5 followed. c4. Uh, a pawn sacrifice by Tersakian. Yeah, at the cost of sacrificing a pawn, he is opening up the dark squared bishop's diagonal in order to put pressure, in order to put further pressure on opponent's kingside. According to Terzakian, he thought that this move is allowing him to win, but time will show that with the precise defense, Black is managing to survive. At the moment, the knight on e5 was hanging, Black accepted the pawn sacrifice, and after an exchange on c4, once Black's knight is gone, Terzakian went for the logical continuation of that pawn sacrifice, and with bishop takes g7. King takes g7, queen g5 check, black king is exposed and now white queen can chase that king but it turns out that there are not much forces, not enough strength of finishing up the opponent. Terzakian first repeated the moves and then tried to switch the rook into the attack. Rook fc8, black is opening up an escaping route for his king. E5, well in case of rook g3 check then just king f8. Yeah, it may seem that black king is hopelessly exposed but uh, there is no way to make a progress. Here queen h8 check is bad because after king e7 you have no, you can no longer make a progress and it's black who is winning and after rook g3 king f8 all you can do is just give a perpetual check. In our game after rook c8 we have e5, knight king f8, black is defending really well, rook e1, queen d8, and after a few more moves, after queen f6 check on move 28, the players agreed to draw because there is not much white can do. Uh, a fighting chess, Terzakian did his best to organize an attack, that really tried hard to sharpen the position, but Despite the fact that black has awkwardly placed pieces on the queen side which are not doing much to save the king, black king manages to survive and a draw is on the board. This is how the game ended. In the end, the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces. The task may be a little bit challenging but once you can figure out black's weakest point, the rest becomes easy. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.